What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we've got another favorite tech of the month video, this time for the month of August. And this is a video where I show you guys some tech that I've taken a real liking to in the past month, whether it's old or new tech. And first up, we've got this guy, the Ghost Tech NRG2 backpack. Now this is an awesome tech oriented backpack and it has a lot of cool features. So first thing you'll notice is that it has a USB port and that's because there's a built-in portable charger. Now why that's awesome is because most backpacks that have this feature usually require you to put your own portable charger in here, but this one has it built in. So it has a dedicated portable charger, which is 16,000 milliamp hours, which is quite a bit. So that's a really awesome capacity. And when you need to charge that uh, portable charger, you have a little slot here with a micro USB port where you can just charge it up. You don't have to worry about pulling out the portable charger or anything like that. Just plug in your backpack and you're good to go. Now, another really cool feature about the whole portable charger thing is when you have it on, or even if you don't have it on, right here you have an LED indicator that lets you know just, in, just how much juice you've got left. So with this, you can just know when you need to go charge your uh, portable charger. There's no guessing games here. Still looks like a regular, normal backpack, but it's got this cool functionality so you can keep your devices charged. Uh, honestly, this thing is just an ideal gadget backpack. I do wish this color was just black on the inside. Uh, they could have just left these as accents, but they've got other colors as well. They've got black, I think they've got gray, and they've got red. So you don't have to stick with this. But if you also worry about theft and getting your laptop stolen or anything like that, you don't have to worry because it has these flaps here. So you can actually just peel this over and then you have access to your laptop compartment as well as your tablet compartment and you can put some more stuff like books in here so you don't have to worry about being able to carry things like that and it's waterproof or water resistant which is great for your tech and if this kind of backpack isn't your style they also offer some other options as well they've got like this messenger bag which has the exact same features it itself has a ton of compartments so you can fill this up with a ton of stuff. And they've also got this little satchel here uh, that also has a 16,000 milliamp hour battery with the exact same features, LED indicator, all that stuff. But yeah, they offer a pretty wide range of gear with these awesome features. So I have it all linked down below in the description as well as everything else in this video. Now, guys, do you see this over here? Just please, just, just take a look at this. My baby's missing. She's in the shop though, she'll be back. That's why the screens are all black, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> but moving on, over here, this is what my baby got me. She got me the Z-Board 2. Uh, she worked with Z-Board 2 to get this in-house. Uh, but guys, this thing, I love it. As you can see, there's a lot of wear. I've been using it quite a bit, but this is just a great take on the electric skateboard. Now, Z-Board's the company that actually got me into electric skateboards, and what's really awesome about how they go about it is that in the front and back, you've got these uh, foot pads that are your acceleration up front, brake in the back. So what that means is you don't need a remote of any sort to move. So it's all pressure sensitive. So based on how much you pressure you put down on the front, how much you lean forward, depends on, uh, that determines how fast you go. And if you need to stop, you just lean back on the brakes and boom. So what I like about the Z-Board 2 is that it is now way, way lighter than the previous version. So this one is manageable uh, to walk around with. Uh, if it dies on you, you don't have to worry about chugging around a really heavy board. So they did some really, really great improvements. And something that sets the Z-Board apart from other electric skateboards is this thing has crazy range. So instead of having like six to eight miles of range, this thing can go up to 16 miles. And I think their Pearl version is 24. So you can use these things for a hot minute without worrying about it dying on you. Uh, it can go up to 20 miles per hour. And one thing that I really do like here is that they've got headlights as well. So with the power button, you can just kind of turn on the headlights whenever you need. So you can make sure that nobody misses you while you're out and about. It's got tail lights as well, so you can see that there. Having that there, mwah. So huge shout out to Z-Board and my baby for getting this in house. Now, the next thing we gotta talk about is this guy. This is the Razer Hammerhead 
BT. So these are Bluetooth earbuds that actually really surprised me. Uh, these are by Razer and you know, they're known for gaming headsets and gaming peripherals, but I didn't know that they made regular headphones or earbuds for listening to just casual music. And after trying these out, I was actually pretty surprised. Uh, these are nice, they have quite a bit of bass, which I'm a fan of, you guys know this. Uh, but the one thing that I really like is the design here. So you'll notice this thing in the back, which is, when I first saw it, I was like, what is this, why? It has a magnet, but what it does is, let me show you. So you put on your earbuds like this, right? And you take this, you put it on the collar of your shirt, and then you let it stick together, and it pretty much holds onto your shirt, so you don't have to worry about your earbuds moving or falling off. That's just pretty strong magnet, so they stay together, and you can just move around with no problem. Now, why I kinda like this is because you guys know I've been falling in love with that little neckband design, but this kind of takes the need for something like that away. So, you could move around, not worry about them falling out because it's actually secured onto your shirt and it makes it easier to store. You can just kind of take them, crumple them up, throw them in your pocket. So you get the same functionality as a neckband almost, but with this uh, more typical design. Now you still get all the stuff like an inline remote, of course, uh, you get eight hours of battery life and you also get this pretty cool feature of having a pulsing light uh, right on the logos of the earbuds. So, you know, that's how Razer does things. Green lights everywhere. But this is actually really nice, it's surprising, and it's less than 100 bucks, so you get all the typical stuff that you expect from a pair of Bluetooth earbuds like this, and a pretty nice functional design. So I'm a huge fan. And lastly, since this is favorite tech of the month, I gotta show you guys all the things that I've been using, and I have been on Splatoon 2 with the Nintendo Switch like crazy. Like, it is extremely hard for me to put this down. So every time I have downtime, I am on this game. And I know a lot of people don't have the Switch, or maybe if you do have the Switch, maybe Splatoon 2 might not be on your radar. But let me tell you, when this thing was out for the Wii U, I didn't care for it, it never looked interesting. But after playing it, it is a fun game. So the idea of this game is to ink up all of the territory that you're gonna be playing on. So the whole map, you wanna get as much ink on it as possible. Uh, and it is just so, so fun. Now at first, it seems kind of juvenile because of the way the characters look, but it is deceptively fun. And me and Ari have been playing it non-stop. And this game is surprisingly competitive. Uh, there's tons of weapons and uh, different specials, lots of different things or, or ways you can go about playing it and you know, basically winning the game. Uh, and I honestly, I died at the end. But yeah guys, that's Splatoon 2. It's a great game. If you have a Switch and it hasn't been on your radar because it looks too kiddy, trust me, it is worth the try. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, it's your average consumer. Peace.